Hello, this is a very quick tutorial looking at Microsoft Excel version 2013 for Windows and how to plot a graph showing the mean and the standard deviation of that mean as error bars on the graph. Uh, what we have on the screen in front of us is some uh, fictitious data. I've just typed it into the cells showing four replicates uh, in four different groups, A, B, C, and D. And what we're missing here over the right hand side is the mean and a formula for the standard deviation. So in order to calculate the mean of these four numbers, you type into this cell equals average, open parentheses, and select the four data sets, uh, close the bracket and press return. And for standard deviation, click in the box and type in equals STDEV, which is a formula for standard deviation, have an open parentheses or bracket, select the four numbers as well, close the parentheses and press enter. And you'll see we have the mean and the standard deviation now plotted in these two cells. Um, I would select these and just make sure that they only have the same number of decimal places as our raw data. And then by clicking on the little square box on the bottom right hand corner of this selection, you can then drag that down and automatically the averages or the mean and the standard deviation for the next three rows of data will be plotted in here. So we need to plot a graph. We're just going to do a quick bar graph or a column graph. And we're going to use A, B, C, and D on our X axes. We're going to press the control key and select the four means, which represent these four numbers. And then we're going to go to the insert menu, click on one of the bar graphs and just choose one. And there we are, it's created. Uh, an Excel graph underneath. Um, there are clearly some things missing on this graph. We haven't got a label, for instance, on our y-axis or our x-axis. And of course, using the quick layout tool, you can add to those various things, but we're not gonna worry about that for the moment. What we're mostly interested in is getting error bars on here. And at the moment, of course, it's just plotting the means. If we select on the, each of the bars, there are no options immediately uh, obvious to us about how to plot error bars. You could go to the quick layout and have a good old search and you may find that one of those has error bars in your version of Excel, but certainly on mine it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is select all of the bars and you'll see it's selected the mean here and I want to add a chart element. So I click on the add chart element and I scroll down until I see the word error bar. I move to the right and go all the way down to the more error bar options button. Click on that and you'll see this window appears on the right hand side where you can select whether you want the direction to be up or down or both, whether you want a cap or no cap, and then underneath is the error amount. You don't want to be using fixed value percentage, this standard deviation or this standard error. We want to select custom. If we select custom and then choose on specify value, it brings up this little floating box which allows you to enter the positive and negative error values for the data set. Because our data set consists of four rows, A, B, C, D, and four means, we can then delete the positive and select the four rows that represent our standard deviations. We can then delete the negative box and select the four rows that indicate our standard deviation, and then click OK. And you can see what it's done is it's plotted standard deviation bars for each of these means, that represents the standard deviation shown in the rows here. Just to prove this works, I'm going to choose uh, group C here and modify one of the data points, it's 9.4, and change this to 23. Press enter, and you'll see the size of the error bar goes up accordingly because the size of the standard deviation in this table has also gone up. So I'll put that back to, let's make up another number, and you see it goes down again. So this is a very quick way of putting means and standard deviations. You could change the formula in this box to accommodate standard errors, confidence intervals, or anything you fancy. Um, but that's how you do it.